After connecting our equipment, ensure that all connections are tight and secure. So before we start our demo, I will briefly explain first what is a recovery machine. Recovery machines are used to remove refrigerants from cooling systems such as freezers or air conditioning systems. The benefits of recovery machines can include removing impurities, recycling, and recharging during service technician maintenance and repairs. The MRM55 is a lightweight, efficient, and reliable refrigerant recovery machine with a compact sturdy casing. It provides an ideal solution for making refrigerant recovery fast and simple. Different from most brands of refrigerant recovery machines, it's adapt an integrated vertical structure design with an overhead pressure gauge and operating key design. In addition, there has a service port at the back of the machine, so it will be very convenient to replace the piston ring and air bulb core bringing a more user-friendly user experience. At the same time, this recovery machine can cover A2L gray refrigerants and backward compatible with these older refrigerants such as R12, R22, and R410A. So before we start our demo, this is the equipment we will use for this simulation. The first item is our whip cool recovery machine. This item includes our filter dryer, the hose that we will use to connect filter dryer to our recovery machine, adapter, and three charging hose. We will also use an extra charging hose to connect our recovery tank to our recovery machine. Also, we will gonna use a manifold gauge. But in this demo, we will use a Freon tank instead of an AC unit. The first thing we need to identify is the high side and low side of an AC unit. Using a charging hose, we will connect our AC unit, manifold gauge, and our recovery machine. So here is sales team leader win that will assist us on this demo. First, we will connect the low side of an AC unit going to the low side of our manifold gauge. Second step, we will connect our middle outlet going to filter dryer and filter dryer to our inlet in the recovery machine. In connecting our filter dryer, we must always remember that the arrow should always point 
towards our recovery machine. As you can see, we only have a single connection between our AC unit going to our manifold gauge. We don't have a connection on the high side because we only use a refrigerant tank instead of an AC unit. The next step is, we will gonna open the low side of our manifold gauge and the outlet of our recovery machine. As you can see, we only open the low side switch of our manifold gauge because we only use a refrigerant tank. But if you use an actual AC unit, we need to open both switch and our manifold gauge. So now let's plug in our machine. This machine is compatible with a 230 volts AC source. After connecting our equipment, ensure that all connections are tight and secure to prevent leakage of refrigerant. Set the rotary switch to be for fast operation and press start button. Wait for the light to turn red and do this for 20 seconds. We are doing this process to remove all the air on our hose from AC unit going to our recovery machine. From vapor fast operation, we will set the rotary switch to purge position in a clockwise manner. Then turn on the machine. And we will now close the switch on our manifold gauge and turn the switch in a closed position on our recovery machine. And now, using an additional charging hose, we will connect the outlet of our recovery machine going to the low side of our recovery tank. And now, we will open the low side bulb of our recovery tank. The switch on the low side of our manifold gauge. And open the low side on our AC unit. Turn on the machine. And slowly turn the switch to vapor fast position. We can check the amount of the refrigerant left on our refrigerant tank on the gauge in our recovery machine. We can also check our manifold gauge. Wait for the light to turn red. And then check the needle of the gauge if it is pointing to the zero position. This means our recovery is complete. During the recovery process, we will notice that the temperature and weight of our recovery tank is increasing. So in that case, we suggest that you place the recovery tank in a bucket with ice to prevent the recovery machine from shutting down. One of the safety features of the Weep Cold Recovery Machine is that this unit has an internal pressure shut-off switch. If the pressure inside the system go above the rated pressure, the system will automatically shut itself off. In this demo, we only recover refrigerant in low side. But if you are using an actual AC unit, you need to recover refrigerant in both sides. And now, let's switch our recovery machine in closed position. And close the switch in our manifold gauge. And close the low side in our AC unit. And lastly, turn the switch into purge position and press the on button of the machine. And now, close the bulb in our recovery tank. Turn the switch of our recovery machine into closed position.
and remove all the charging hose. And last, turn the machine into vapor pass position. Press the on button and slowly turn the switch to first position. And wait for the light to turn red. We are doing this process to ensure that there are no refrigerants left in our recovery machine. So that is how we use Weepco Recovery Machine. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!